This The Local Project video is sponsored by Autodesk. Head to the link in the video description to receive a 30-day free trial with their computer-aided design software, AutoCAD. Kalora Bay is located on the north of Bruni Island. The site itself is located on the slope above Kalora Bay overlooking the Dantrecastel Channel. The site has beautiful, long, tall grass trees. We fell in love with the bush and I think for us it was always about the forest, embracing the trees and living very privately in this delicate environment. It's a very special place. It's like you leave your normal life behind and wherever you go, everything is just wild and still untouched. Because it's such a delicate environment, the site came with certain restrictions. The site came with a clearing and the clearing came with a predetermined building zone, which determined the scale of the building. With a small floor plan comes the need for flexibility and so in the bedrooms we opted for fold-out beds so you can actually fold them up and they're part of a joinery wall, they disappear and so the rooms can be used for different functions. I really believe that the restrictions help the design. All the building elements are made to work hard because of that. Often a building element has multiple functions and every inch of the floor plan works. As you approach, you get welcomed in this external courtyard which invites you in. You are immediately greeted into this beautiful foyer. As you go around the corner, you are greeted with a more generous social space with high ceilings to give it that more generous feel. The light in the shack is actually one of my favourite things. You wake up in the east with the morning sun and you follow the sunshine and the shading of the trees. Those shadows are ever-changing, they just keep moving, which is really beautiful. We opted for frameless skylights in the wet area. The skylights catch your eye up to the canopy above and it feels like you're having a shower outdoor, which is amazing. It's always a light place to be and I think the greenery around it on a beautiful rainy day makes it even more intense. We opted for sliding doors in the main living area just to embrace and open up the shack to the outdoors. On a rainy day you could even open up the doors, sit sheltered in the dining room but still feel like you're half outside. The material palette we kept really simple. We really wanted the landscape to speak, not the architecture. And so we chose materials that work well within the landscape. We really try to do as much as we could ourselves. So it goes from sourcing the timber locally to air drying it, to making sure that it was up to the bushfire regulations. The same for the concrete, we really try to do everything in one pour of concrete. The floors in the bathroom, the kitchen splashback, the kitchen bench, but also the vanities in the laundry and the bathrooms, they're all poured out of white concrete that we did all in one go. The shack actually feels like it silhouettes within the forest and so the dark stained silver top ash looked great but also served really well as bushfire resistant cladding. We also used white concrete to counteract the darkness of the dark cladding. The white concrete, it's quite a raw finish and so it's very earthy. I think when it came to materials we really wanted to make those subtle decisions with soft pastel colours, dark timber tones. Everything was inspired by the landscape around it. My favourite part of the house is definitely the feeling that when you're here you are connected with nature. To be able to build within such a delicate landscape where it's all about the bird life and the beautiful tall grass trees, it's so special but it's also so precious. 
for us to be able to enjoy it like we do is pretty incredible. This The Local Project video is sponsored by Autodesk. Their leading program, AutoCAD, is a computer-aided design software that architects, engineers and construction professionals rely on to create precise 2D and 3D drawings. Many architectural spaces featured on the local project, like Kalora Bay by Tanner Architects, have been built through this software and are projects designed to last for the future. AutoCAD allows for a seamless and efficient design experience making it as simple as possible for architects to create exceptional and authentic designs. AutoCAD is the original computer-aided design software. There is no substitute. Autodesk also offers a free webinar series on their website for those who want to deep dive into the various tools. Design your next architectural, engineering or construction project with Autodesk software AutoCAD. Head to the link in the video description to receive a 30-day free trial.